hello guys welcome back to the channel and this lab is just recently updated so first of all just log in with your credentials like this now just simply come on the task number one scroll down open this link in incognito window wait for a couple of seconds click on view dashboard and now click on this create app script and here we have to just change the name of our script or you can say project so just simply click on that and just i'm giving quick lab like this and click on rename okay now just go back to your dashboard and here just simply search for the api and services open this thing in new tab api and services now click on this library and here just simply search for the big query and hit enter and you can see big query api just click on that and just confirm that is your api is enabled or not if not just simply click on that enable option okay so we are done with that now just simply scroll down and copy this code okay and go back to here and before pasting that code what we have to do in the services option click on this plus icon and here choose the bigquery api click on that and simply click on add okay so the BigQuery services has been added. Now just rename the code like this, which you copy from the lab instruction. Now just cross verify the number of line of code must be 83. If not, just refresh the page and again copy the code. Okay, so you have done with that. Now what we have to do, just simply scroll up. Here you can see on the line number 17, we have to just change the project ID. So just copy your project ID. Just cross verify and make the changes like this okay now what we have to do we have to change the name name of the file so if you just simply scroll down and from the point number four you can just get the new name of our file so just copy this click on this three dot okay and then click on rename and just simply change that file and hit enter and your file must be look like this you ha must have to change the project id if you're done with all the things simply click on save the project make sure you have to save the project once you're done with that now simply click on run wait for a couple of seconds it's asking for the review the permission so just simply click on that and click on student id and just review yourself okay so it's done it's started execution started and execution complete once you get this kind of thing just simply scroll down and click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section guys thanks for watching and have a good day